Hi everyone, the Lone Wolf here. Welcome back for some more Dota Underlords. I just have to finish a couple of my challenges today. And ooh, this is interesting. It has been a while since we've done Hunters. And uh, with Heartless, that could be a pretty strong combination. Let's give it a try. Um, pretty good first lineup. Four Hunters, two in the front line. And then we have her for attack speed. That's always good. We could try the headdress. Do you need one cell left or right? Yeah, all right. Let's 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 give that a try now. And let's put her at the center. You go over here. We get our first upgrade. A life stealer is definitely a good option as well. And for now, I think we'll just lock this in. Um, wanting to go to four. Honestly, if we can get life stealer and a budge, that's not bad. And then in the back line, uh, let's see here. Okay, all of these are actually a little bit more expensive. We'll see. We'll see if it works. Um, so they should get double attacks. This is spirits and druids. So let's, uh, yeah, uh, let's hope that first spirit goes down before they can use their AOE ability. That is a positive. Uh, the little small wolf is annoying though. He's actually pretty damn powerful. Too powerful man look at how much he's healing as well uh, from that enchantress so impressive but late game honestly shamans don't always work out that well uh, what could be good here healing and stealing uh, attack speed would be good but we don't have that or some we'll, we'll just take healing and stealing get rid of a strong enemy um, item potentially our front line is looking okay so this is pretty damn good double chaos knight uh Abaddon for a fallen no i think we get a dig that's definitely been the good choice and this is kind of interesting double with the brutes uh but kind of also want to go for getting as many hunters as possible as early as possible so we're not going to take um, the alchemist just yet. Let's see if we can handle this next phase here. Does have an annoying slark in the back line, so we need his front line to buckle quickly. They're doing sort of okay. The summons there are a bit of a problem. Not enough healing on my terror blades. Slark finally down from the poison. And oof, the little wolves being very annoying. More poison. All right, we just just made it, thanks to our little Eno. Uh, pretty good, pretty nice. So I will take that. We can definitely still improve this uh, Vanguard, Arcane Boots, or a Blink Dagger. I think we can try a Vanguard, and then we'll do this here. And so that is to either side the equipped hero and the unit. Within one cell left and right at the start of combat, gain 20 health a second. So this is a nice upgrade. Definitely want to take that. Um, and then we get, all right, a double shadow demon. Uh, she's here for that as well. So that's stronger for now. And then a first tier three. Okay, so we're going to go for Heartless. They're pretty cheap. They're decent early game, so I'll take that. And after that, we are going to focus back on the Hunters. Hopefully it works. Uh, now, his main hero is well positioned. So I'm afraid for my Terror Blade. Yeah, he's slowly going down. Bit of AoE right there. But hopefully my Draw Ranger can get some more. Yeah, there we go. Good stuff. Now Wind Ranger, 3000 damage. Definitely not bad either. And so now they should get weaker and weaker because of my Heartless advantage. Going full Heartless, I don't think so. Uh, I'd rather have triple attacks from my Hunters than that. So she comes into play, fills the gap here quite nicely. Uh, another tier 3, not bad. Double bat. Uh, no. Okay, all right, all right, that's pretty good. Um, kind of don't like the fact that my Terror Blade is currently functioning as a mainline hero, uh, but hopefully this can work out like this a little bit better. What's that in the back? Hmm. 
also a tier 3 animage but doesn't I think have the triple attacks and that's gonna be a problem for him yep there we go good victory pretty good victory I would say terribly top life stealer draw animage all right so some honestly just get me two big hunters uh, that would be very cool and Beastmaster he does a lot of damage and could help with my positioning on Terrorblade. So I think we're in a good spot if I can finally get them as an option. Now that's a little bit more annoying. Um, we don't want to reduce our attack speed I don't think so I'm gonna take this. Could give that to him but for now I think hopefully she basically uh, needs that cooldown reduction. So that's not so interesting. Uh, we definitely take, ooh, there is a beast master so we're gonna take him and then we dig a little bit further we get another life stealer option all right not a lot of upgrades here let's see if i can hold on in this phase it's gonna start to get tricky but uh, let's see if i can stay on top what are we up against that looks like demons assassins and Spirits, yeah again, but the tier 3 spirit going down before they got their ability. I think my terror blade is in a good spot now to unleash. There he goes. <laughs> there we go. Good, good, good. Uh, is it an item? I don't think so. We just got the uh, essence. So I, I would honestly, I would rather have one of the others. But if we have to, then it will be the beast master. So that's that. Uh, okay, Mirana. He's of course telling me take that tier two, but the Mirana is in play now as well. So uh, I'm maybe even willing. This is actually a difficult choice. Uh, we'll see if we can survive like this. Otherwise, getting the Mirana instead of, for instance, the Shadow Demon could be really big as well. Um, for those triple attacks. Let's see what we're up against here. Uh, okay, Strange doesn't have a third hunter. Uh, assassins in the back are annoying, but his front line is buckling very quickly. Lots of evades on the little uh, Meepos. But they're down, and yeah, okay. Pretty convincing victory. So, uh, this is minus nine armor. Animage doing well, Life Stealer doing well. Okay, I'll take it. Uh, an item now. Hmm. Attack speed is always welcome. Or. Oh, a free hunter. Okay, I'm taking that. In this lineup, that's just a little bit too good not to take. And who's doing terribly? Twins. Uh, Shadow Demon is doing okay. Uh, maybe we'll give it to the Venge. And see, whoops, wrong click, this and this, see if she can hold on, uh, maybe put her here then, so that she's attacked last, unless we get another upgrade, that's very very nice of course, uh, that's a lot of no's, and here's the final terror, I'm willing to dump you for this, we'll lock in the beast master as well, because you can of course, there's a 5 gold, um, hunter so let's see what kind of damage we can do now lots of tier trees on the enemy side we've got a decent amount terror blade stunned which is bad news but it can still transform oh big aoe there transform now and he does get a couple kills but they basically did a little bit too much damage i think i'm in an too offensive a position here now so this is uh something that i need to do we'll go like this put you back here put you here something like that and i will try and get this go like this uh yep okay you're coming into play of course actually very good at surviving thanks to our jump wraith king five gold but there is better to do uh Three star life stealer is nice as always. Three. Okay, that's very good. These are normally the upgrades that will get me what I need, and, and we're kind of hoping it's the Medusa. Um, that would be nice for a tent, of course. Not sure if we'll get the option, so let them come a little bit. Their assassins should not be able to go too nuts on my backline. 
And now we're getting quite a few triple attacks. Terror Blade. Go nuts, please. More damage. Yep, there we go. And then blop. <laughs> Almost 10k damage. So not super good, but a lot of them are... Ooh, 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 ooh. We're going to give that to the Lifestealer now. That's even better. Get, give him triple attacks. That's very nice. Uh, Horn of the An Alpha here. Get this um, pretty tanky strong summon. I think we'll take it. And we're in we're in a good spot. We're in a good spot for this game. So hunters do still work. Let's see. I'm just gonna keep digging and hope for that Medusa to come out and play. There she is. Oh, that's so good. I'm actually already gonna put her in the back now. And the rest, no. I think she does. Yeah, passive. Uh, only one extra arrow, but it goes up with every level. So let's see um, what kind of damage she can do. And I'm really curious as to the life stealers, stealer as well. If he has triple attacks, uh, that could be quite devastating. He has a very strong front line here. So recover now. Okay, that was going well for some reason. <laughs> life stealer, 10k damage. There we go. And he's just going nuts. He is absolutely... Man, devouring. Devouring the enemies. I should have done that right from the start. Uh, give that crown of antlers to the life stealer, And that is a very smooth first place victory. Uh, heartless hunters. And then with, of course, a very, very lucky item drop uh, that, uh, that made the build. So there you go, guys. Quick game of Dota Underlords. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, I'll see you next time.